Well, hello there. Here we are again. Tile number nine for our advent calendar. Of course, December the 9th. It's, uh, it's going to be quite a good one, this, because not too difficult to do. And we can now start to um, add them onto the page. We can see where things are starting to come together. So for number nine, I thought that today we could actually stick it in place because you see here we've got one that's sort of sweeping across. So I thought it'd be kind of nice to sort of gauge where that's going to go. So you can see I've got the pencil in hand to start with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and I'm just going to very gently draw it in along sort of tile 21 there. I think I'm going to go all the way down to the uh, the bottom there. You see, just a little bit in. And that just means that I'm going to sort of have a, a nice swooping line. See, so if I continue it across my page here, let's have a look. I'm going to go possibly all the way so all the way, almost all the way across. You see, and it gives it a nice flow going across there. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good morning. Now, it's a little bit later today, but I've been working on something a little bit downstairs. So exciting times. All right, switching to pen then. So I'm not going to draw this bit in pen. I don't need that now. I just need that line there on my tie. Can see where these hearts are going to work so let's just focus in on these hearts just for a minute then because you see here i've got a part one so again if i actually draw that in just in pencil see where that's going to sit there that's going to be tile 21 eventually see so already doing tile part of tile 21 and there's going to be another heart that way and another that way and you see now it's going to sort of fit onto my tile there and then if I bring in my pen again I can sort of put that little bit in there and then here it's going to go sort of down here and around there and then of course this way I think it just makes that one a little bit easier so we can get it looking right there we go and then, of course, I'm going to do just a small one here because this is the bottom of the page there. Oh, there you go. And then another. And then, of course, I'm going to squeeze one in there. Maybe. And maybe there. <laughs> there we go. So you can see sort of now how, how that's going to fit in and have a nice swooping heart there. So that's, that's great. So, OK, let's have a look at the rest of it then. Let's go a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm going to attempt. There we go. All right, so tile in view. All right, so again, I'm going to uh, going to bring a bit of a curve in here. So I'm going to start from about there. I'm going to aim for sort of the middle-ish. There we go. And then I'm going to just do another one quite narrow. We're just going to nothing there and then in this one again if you have a look you see we've got this sort of shape forming so if i was to look at say this one here then it's going to sort of come across and it's going to just sort of join in on the bottom there of that one you see now you might find that you've got some of these uh, little lines that sort of fit in i mean the rest i can sort of add in as to where i want to put them because of course that tile's not there yet. Okay. You see some of the... Oh, let's do that one as well. You see how things are starting to fit together now. It's really exciting to see how it's going to sort of all work out. All these little bits of tiles are going to come and form one large piece. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Okay. So... Back onto the tile, I'm going to put um, a little curve here too. Now, I do have a different tangle in that one that's not the same as this one here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to completely leave that tangle free just until we know what's going on around it. And then we can add the tangle in as, as we need to at that point. So I think that's probably for the best just for now. So uh, let's work on another bit down here. I'm just going to bring just under halfway maybe, I'm going to bring a line down here and then 
a little bit of a curve on the bottom. And then from here to here, another curve. All right. So this one, we know this tire, uh, this tangle, very familiar. And it seems that like I've used it quite a bit in this one, but I kind of like it. So let's fill it with swirls. And of course, don't worry about getting to the edge here. We can sort of imagine that it's going to go on to that next tile at some point. I might do another one there a bit bigger. All right. But, um, I'm not going to fill in the gaps today. I think I'm going to leave them just so we've got a little bit of a difference. And if you find you're, you're making a bit of a, a pattern and you want to be more random, then the ideal thing to do with these is to actually then create one of these swirls in a different part of the section. And then of course you're going to be filling this one in all around the place. There we go. Let's do another one here. And of course they could be different sizes, different colours, whatever you want to do with it. Really enjoying that there. Still the little one in there. Let's fill that one in. So it doesn't matter how small the space is, you can still get part of one in in some way, shape, or form. I've got a little hair there attached to my little nib. There we go. Now, it's nice to see all the tile swaps are sort of appearing on the Santangle group page. It's lovely that you're all pleased with them. I think when we put them all together, they were absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to do a random here. Okay, a few lines, just a single line. And just sort of crisscross them around. you haven't done a tile swap before I think you need to give it a go maybe that's something you're going to do in the new year uh, okay each one of these look I'm gonna just sort of follow the shape round and then when I get to a corner just sort of go around there we go leaving a little one there look looks a bit like crazy paving doesn't it there we go that's Following the shape. Don't worry if you're not directly on the lines, it's fine. That's one of the good things about this particular tangles. It's very uh, fluid in that way. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, Rose. The time certainly does fly. And to believe that we're actually on our little tiny tile number nine already. I must admit, I think. Trying to do a tile a day could be quite tricky if it was a full size one, as much as I would love to. But I'm finding the tiny tiles a lot more manageable to do one a day. And of course you don't have to do that, but it's sort of what, 10, 15 minutes a day. And you could do this while you were sitting, drinking a cuppa. And it wouldn't take too long. And before you know it, it's, the whole thing's really starting to grow now. So, uh, if you're going to do this, try not to leave it and do it all at once. I know that would be a lovely sort of idea, but I don't want to overwhelm you with lots of different bits and pieces. So, a little bit each day is, uh, is a lot better. Of course, you know, if you're still doing the, the regular tiles as well, then well done for keeping up. It's great. But again, you can pick and choose those. The videos are there when you're ready. You see here, I'm just putting some triangles in, but I'm giving it a little bit of space in between each one. It's like an old game that used to have, isn't it? These little trivial pursuit kind of things. There we go. And then 
just down here, just sort of leave that little bit of a gap in between each one. See, that one's going to obviously go into the next tile there. I think as well, if you've never done this before, using these little tiles is absolutely brilliant because you can just have a go. And they're so small you don't need to worry about wasting materials and things. There we go. Okay. What if I then put a line and a dot coming from each of those corners? Just sort of Enjoy it. So whether you want to put the lines in first and then come back and do all the dots. <laughs> it is Chris here. Triangle chocolate. Yeah, I do like that one actually. So you can actually do any kind of design inside triangle shapes or circle shapes. There's lots of different variations. Oh yeah. This is a nice one. A few Actually, don't put the dot and just the lines. And then join the lines together, you can get a little bit of the, or the starting point of a gem. You get the center point in there, you know, with the facets. So, there we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Rosie, yeah, it's, it is crazy isn't it, how much you can actually fit on them. And they don't seem so small after a little bit. Certainly when you put them together. Well, there we go, that was, what, not even 10 minutes, I suppose, just to uh, to put that in. I think the most of it was, if you remember, just planning this little bit in here. And then if you've got any lines coming from this section here, just sort of join them in. And that is it. That's the time. Let's just have a look a little bit further out. So you see there, look, it's starting to uh, develop. This one's quite a large area because, of course, we've got three together. But then this one, you know, is going to sort of, work its way around too. And of course, tomorrow, number 10 is going to fit in with this one. So let's have a quick look at this one shaded. And again, I'm using monochrome tiles on this one. So you can see, look, I've done the same. I've used the pencil just to give me that shape there. And there it is. So however this is going to fit in, however this is going to work with the tiles around it, we're not quite sure yet, but it'll be fine. And of course, if you look here, I've left that space without any tangles and I've not shaded it because I don't really know what's coming to either side of it. So we'll see what happens there, shall we? Okay, so there it is again, just the tile on its own with no shading. And again, I've just used pencil to help me put that in the right place. And there it is with the shading. And that is absolutely it for the day. So short and sweet, but hopefully, that's one that you'll be able to get done in no time at all and uh, stick it onto your, uh, your frame. So have a good day, everybody. Stay safe and uh, I will speak to you tomorrow. Take care.